Good morning, everyone. It is Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. And so today is a super exciting video because we are doing another work day in my life, except not just a law firm work day in my life, but also I alluded to my new second job in a Q&A video that I posted recently. And so now finally saying that this new second job is that I will be working as an admissions reader for this upcoming cycle of college application season. Yay! Woo! My new part-time job is this admissions reader position, which is so exciting. I'm so interested in learning more about the admissions process, everything like that, obviously from like my other YouTube content. It's a lot of like college related content. So I wanted to apply to positions like this because it definitely fits right up my alley of things that I'm interested in and like higher education and stuff. Probably not going to share what university it's for right now, but maybe after this admission cycle is over, then I can talk more about it. And so it is a part-time position. So I should theoretically have have time still in my day with a full-time role and a part-time role it is going to be sort of busy in the coming weeks and months which that is where time management comes into play but switching gears back to the regular law firm job logging in my law firm work computer and everything right now if you're new to my channel and didn't know hello my name is Rachel and I am currently working at an intellectual property law firm and so it's all work from home right now with the pandemic the last time I did a work day in my life vlog that like two weeks where I filmed that video that was such a like stressful and hectic time at work I think I did the math in that video it was like $87,000 I paid in a day in order to file things but this morning right now I'm going to it's a thing called Chinese evaluation reports so CNERs, and so we get those from our Chinese associates. So they send us those, and it's basically more art that we need to add to our system because it relates to the thing that we're trying to patent. So like for me right now, entering those arts, then we'll have to either like create an IDS, which was the information disclosure statement. Basically, if you have any kind of prior art or anything, you need to disclose that with the USPTO. So creating those documents entering art that shall be the morning here. Gigi, she sits here at the window a lot looking out. Very much cat tendencies, I feel like. Our cats would also sit by the window and look out and now she's just sleeping. She's so peaceful when she sleeps. Gee! Oh hello! Look at that rainbow in the camera! And then she'll see like squirrels and stuff out there and sometimes deer. And then she starts to bark so loud at the deer or squirrels outside, but she's guarding us, making sure no bad guys come to the house. It is hot chocolate time. So this is the hot chocolate. If you were around my channel last year, I drank this so much, got a bunch of these from Costco, the Starbucks hot cocoa. And then here I have heated up some milk with my San Francisco mug that I got from school. Stick it into here. I would say it's like not cold enough for hot chocolate really this week it's been warmer like 50 60 so fall temperature last week was a little bit colder than what we've been getting like 30s 40s so that was a good hot chocolate week sometimes you know i drink a lot of water and so having hot chocolate or i make myself smoothies then it just cleanses and gives your taste buds something else to look forward to so that's why i like having the hot chocolate even if it's not like super chilly outside you know lunchtime now oh besties <laughs> sometimes he just hangs out here with the laptop and me i guess it's warm 
and um, he's a little bit shaved here, so a little hairless. Hi, sorry. He's always trying to like press all the buttons on my keyboard. But like I was saying, he's been sort of sick recently, and we just figured out that he might have hypothyroidism. And so basically before he was eating all of the time, but his metabolism was working so quickly that he was hungry all of the time. So like constantly eating, but then he was still losing weight. So he was so skinny. And then with the hypothyroidism, he wasn't grooming himself anymore. So that's why he had like matted fur where it gets all like stuck together because he wasn't licking himself to clean the fur. And so that's why he has that big bald spot now because we cut and you know, we shaved off that matted fur area. So now it won't be matted anymore and then it can grow back nice. And he's been getting better. It's because like the cat food has a lot of iodine in it. So it's just like the canned wet food that you can get at the store. It has a lot of iodine in it, which makes the hypothyroidism act up. We've been feeding him like different kinds of food that doesn't have iodine in it. And he has been getting better. He has gained weight. His fur is a lot better when he was sick. When he was more sick, I guess I should say, his fur was very like coarse and not soft, but now it's getting softer. He's not like whining for food all of the time and he's gaining weight before. He was literally skin and bones. He was so skinny. You could feel his spine through his back when you would pet him and his fur was so matted and coarse, but now we're thinking he's getting better. So yeah, that's an update on Bister. <laughs> sort of sad update, I guess. But now we're ready for lunch, and I guess I'll have to leave you. You can have some lunch as snack, too. Oh, hello, see? You see everyone? He's still a little bit dirty there. He's like, you're talking too loud. <laughs> okay. Lunch time. For lunch, I'm going to have this pasta. It's from Trader Joe's. It's so good. You can cook it like on the stove or also in the microwave. Recently have been just using the microwave because it's a lot easier. So before heating it up, looks like this red sauce pasta. The after will look like this. <laughs> There's like no other ingredients that you need or anything. Super easy. Here we have the finished product. And then I'm also going to add some some of this cheese to make it extra cheesy. <gasps> Bister wants some. If I could eat red sauce pasta every single day, I would. It's so good. I love <laughs> red sauce pasta, spaghettis, anything like that. Peppy! Oh, hello, hello. So sometimes if we're lucky, we can go on a walk during lunch. So pre-daylight savings, we would usually always go on walks after work when the sun was setting. So nice, so awesome. But now since daylight savings has happened, literally gets dark 4 p.m., 5 p.m. No time for walk after work. So now we have to go on a walk if we do want to even walk during lunch and it's just so rushed and sort of sucks because usually we can go on like an hour, an hour and a half walk. Now it's literally like a 30 minute walk to be able to come back and then go back to work in time. So it's just so sad and she's so cute. And now Gigi doesn't get her nice long walks. And I put a poll on my Instagram story. Last time I checked it, it was 60, 40, 60 saying, yes, you like daylight savings, 40% saying, no, don't like daylight savings but please let me know why so cute why did you say yes or no i feel like i'm more on the no liking daylight savings because you know, we can't go on walks anymore, and that is something I look forward to every day. <laughs> and now we can't go unless it's a super rushed walk at lunchtime. We're gonna go on this quick power walk, woohoo!
So, work is over now. Just working on those Chinese evaluation reports all day, which sort of hurts my head because it's not like a word naming convention, all of the documents, their naming convention, it's literally a string of numbers, so like nine or ten digits. Staring at that all day sort of hurts and like has a pressure in your brain because it's just a lot of numbers and I'm like, ah. And so staring at the screen, staring at numbers definitely hurts my eyeballs and brain. But now, Miss G, hello. Miss G, you ready? See, the sun is already setting. This is so sad. So now we are going to do some admissions reader work. So we haven't been reading or scoring anyone's applications for this upcoming application cycle, but we've been in training and learning how to score and read applications, which has all been very fascinating. And so they assigned us some homework. We have to score some practice applications, which were actually real applications from previous admission cycles. So I'm going to work on this homework right now, probably you know, not going to finish it all tonight and then finish the rest of the homework over the next few days because it's not due until next week. And you know how I said that my head was hurting because of looking at all of the Chinese evaluation reports from work? For the admissions reader stuff, everything is based off of a like six, seven digit number as well. So that is like also hurting my eyeballs and brain. But that's something that is good that the students names don't get shown to you when you're reading because in my hiring and training coordinator job at school when we would get the RA applications and then send those out to the professional staff to review all of the students first and last names are attached there so the person reading your RA application they'll see your name and then maybe could have some biases or judgments based off of the name attached to the application so let's get started on reading some practice applications applications. I guess also, sorry, like my law firm job, this is also confidential. So I feel like, I don't know, is it boring to watch because I can't really share anything because <laughs> it is literally confidential also. But I guess if you have any non-confidential questions about anything, you can definitely leave a comment down below and I'll let you know if I can answer it or not. <laughs> but now to finish off the evening, I'm going to do some reading. If you have seen my book videos, I have been reading a lot recently, which has been very fun and it's been a good way to like relax and do some Something that I haven't really done since I was a child, leisure reading, you know. You just never have time to leisure read in high school or college, so getting back into reading has been fun. So right now I'm reading this book about halfway through, I would say, so maybe I can finish this tonight. If not tonight, then definitely tomorrow. This one is like super thin. This is like maybe a three or four hour read, so definitely can finish it quick. Actually, while reading, I'm going to make this dessert. It is from Aldi, and uh, doesn't it look so good? They're here, and we have to bake them in the oven. And then the after photo looks so good. I've had the apple strudel ones from Aldi. So this is the fruits of the forest strudel. The apple one was really good. So we're going to try this fruits of the forest one out. And they're like super easy to make, just like baking it for 30, 40 minutes. So it's not difficult at all. There they are, sort of hard to see, but they're baking. The finished product, we have to let them cool off, but they look good, smell good. A little bit burnt on the edges here, so I'll just pick that off. So sad, I keep burning them, but we'll wait until they cool off since they're very hot right now. I cut myself a little half slice here. It's still sort of warm, but not, not too hot, so we're gonna try it. Different from the apple strudel one, obviously, but the berries, it's not bad either. It's got a lot of fruit in it, which is good because sometimes when you get strudels, it's like all 
of the bread outer shell and it's not any of the inner goodness so this seems to have a good mix of both we will continue reading and eating our dessert and i finished the book <laughs> Like I said, a short read, so I powered through that quite quickly. And by that, it is now like 12.15, so a little bit later than I would have hoped, wanting to sort of be in bed by like 11, 11.30, but I was so close to the end of the book, I couldn't just like stop with 50 pages left, you know, I just had to finish. But alas, it has been a long day, so now it is bedtime, and then we do it all over again the next day. And the next day after that and then after that so to end out this video i just wanted to say thank you all so so much for watching hopefully you all liked this little day in my life vlog with my law firm job as well as my new part-time job the admissions reader position if you found it interesting and fun definitely give this video a big thumbs up to help me out with the youtube algorithm and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me Thanks so much again, and I will see you all next time.